There's the little uh, populous hut. So, yeah, I don't know how familiar people are with the Amiga. That is nice. I didn't, re I didn't remember that. That was cute. Um, but a uh, computer that was popular in Europe, I mean, uh, this will be what I'm kind of might expect to ask more questions than answer things on the podcast, because that will be, I think, the one American. Um, and I'm very curious about, yeah, the Amiga. The America is an American computer made by the Amiga company, uh, previously best known for making the Joy Board for the Atari 2600, which was kind of like a, a very primitive Wii Fit that had like a skateboarding game. So, you know, a, a low bar. Here we go. And uh, if anyone is watching this, uh, is uh, does does not like the audio mix of uh, my vocal fry versus the sound effects, let me know. Still figuring this stuff out. But this looks very good. This looks is yeah. I, re I remember this being really one of the most charm. Oh, Lemmings. Lemmings would be another very big one, of course. Uh, that these little guys, uh, unsurprisingly, just remind me of. Um, who the crackers actually got into this scroll. Very impressive. And so this is showing you, this reminds me a little of the opening to Ultima 4, where it sort of has its, its ominous music and is showing you kind of the little characters going around, running out some sort of living diorama. Um, so here they just, the blue and red sides seem to be just building better and better houses. Um, good for them. Uh, blue guy shouldn't go over there. Um, they've got, I mean, I guess we can move on, but I kind of want to see how this ends, you know? Um, who will win? I'm guessing Blue. Blue is the good guys. I, I looked at the manual, which I don't think I ever did. Um, oh, right, another thing I'm sure I'll talk about on the podcast is how the Amigo is really my exposure to, um, a lot, enough pirated software that you would just dabble in everything, right? That, um, before then, um... I basically bought the thing, you know, I had an Atari 800, but I was not privy to any piracy or whatever on that. Uh, so I, you know, it cost me money. I took the games, you know, I played them deep. Amiga just had a buttload of discs, uh, discs that my stepfather brought home. Um, and uh, I, this was a game that actually hooked me. Um, well, that's good. They had their champions fighting it out, at least, instead of just one team, you know, taking out the other. Um who will win. But right, this was, uh, the fact that this game actually did catch my attention, probably partly because it was easy, or at least you could, like, I, I definitely got through a lot of levels in this game. I'm not sure how strategically I was playing it for a while, um, but, you know, the opposite of say, uh-oh, well, there we go then. Um, the opposite of, say, Shadow of the Beast or, you know, one of these games that looks lovely, um, but that, you know, I would play the first ten minutes of a bunch of times and then just be like, yeah, I, I got, I can do other things. I didn't buy this. My investment is low. What's the next, next disc? All right. Congratulations, Red Knight. That is not the way I expected that to go. Except Rob. Is, is this thanking people? Okay. Let's see what we got here. Um, just looking at how this looks, and it looks tolerable, looks fine. Got the logo, got the title, got the live chat, I uh, got my head all organized. Uh, wait. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of curious as to the state of the art of 1989 tutorials, honestly. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember. I mean, this is a game. Uh, it's not super complicated. Um, it's very satisfying, right? The story is that, um, not unlike SimCity, in a sense, because SimCity's story was, you know, right on Bungling Bay that uh, Will Wright found that he enjoyed uh, making the levels more than actually playing the game, um, and that Populous was basically started as a level editor, and that um, there's just a bubble pop. I mean, yeah, there's a bubble pop quality to raising and lowering the land. It's a very odd primary mechanic, um, but it works. And just this UI stuff. Like, okay, so it, it starts on pause, as you can see here, where it's saying ZZZ. Z, Z. Um, I've got the music and the sound effects. Um, 
Oh, right. I do definitely remember there's a heartbeat, and the heartbeat speeds up if you're losing, and that is very disconcerting, uh, especially if your stepfather has the Amiga hooked up to big-ass speakers in his office. Um, so I can look around. All right. So if I unpause it for a second, there's that heartbeat. Okay. Let's just see what your natural inclinations are before I start messing with you. Okay. Fine. Can I zoom out? Okay, so this is the tutorial. So it's starting me off. It's interesting. This is not really a tutorial. Oh, right. In the instruction manual. I do have the instruction manual. Um, I suppose I could bring it up on... Uh, uh, getting at the Amiga emulator is not the... Uh, easiest one to pop in and out of. Um, okay, so I think the tutorial is basically an easy level plus, um, you know, there's something in here that just tells you, um, do this, do this, do this, do this. Okay, uh, let's, let's not do that. Um, if that's their idea of a tutorial, that's fine. Um, oh yeah, and there's all this option stuff, not in the campaign. Um, but yeah, you can you can do interesting custom stuff, especially if you're playing online, right? The little phone uh, here, game setup, right? One player, two player. You can paint your own map. You can watch the Amiga play against itself. I do not recall taking advantage of any of these things whatsoever. Um, let's just surrender this game. Did that work? Let me out. Come. Uh, okay. There we go. This is what we're looking for. Genesis. Cute. Battle number zero. So I do recall uh, one really nice thing about uh, Populous is that depending on how well you do on a level, it skips you ahead from to the next level, I guess, if you only win by a hair. But it can skip you ahead as far as eight levels. Uh, there's 500. I never got through all of them. Um, but, you know, that seems like a nice transparent dynamic difficulty adjustment. Um, don't make everyone slog through things at the same pace, and then when they start having trouble, they'll slow down. And right, we start on grass. His reactions are very slow. We'll see about mine. I am 44. Uh, he, his rating is very poor. Land built on people. Okay, I'll figure out what that means when I get to it. The swamps are bottomless. Water is fatal. Uh, so swamps are bottomless means that when a person falls into a swamp, it does not use up the swamp. That the only way to get rid of the swamps is to poke the land. And water is fatal means you don't have a chance to rescue them uh, by suddenly building land underneath them, your main mystical power. Uh, we each start with three people. Um, it's kind of a love triangle, I guess. Okay. Let's do it. The old sound. This software, FSUAE, really simulates... Um, Really tries to simulate the Amiga experience down to the grinding of the disk drive, which I I know it can't break, but boy, does it always sound like it's about to break. Um, all right. So here's my three fellows. Um, Anki, Plonky, and Bonky. Um, Anki is my leader, and they will all follow him around, and if I get enough juice, I can turn him into a knight, right, when I get there. So this is, yeah, I mean, again, the, the UI of this game, like, thinking back, uh, thinking for the special about my Amiga usage, one thing I note is that I got a, uh, a used Macintosh Plus uh, for graduating high school and going to college in the summer, you know, beginning of the summer of 1990. Um, I'd had the exposure to the Amiga for whatever, the nine months before then or so. Um, and... Uh, I ended up playing a lot on the Mac that's... I mean, it was mine. That was a difference. But I do remember... Like, that's the funny thing about the Amiga, is in some ways it's really spectacular. Like, this looks fantastic. This looks way better uh, than anything you'd see on a Mac until Macs get color, and then those were exorbitantly priced until, like, the midnight... I, I, yeah, for graduating college, 1994, I got a Mac LC3, I think it was called, or something. Like, you know, the one you could get at Sam's Club or Costco or whatever, uh, and that was color, and that probably looked about this good. Um, but, um, but yeah, as you saw with the GUI, like, there was something, 
Um, outside of kind of arcadey game type stuff, and you know, the, the Mac didn't have a joystick, Amiga was still using the good old, where is it? Um, yeah, I have a authentic Atari joystick here, because you've got to have one of these if you're going to play 80s computer games. Uh, between the Atari 800, the Commodore 64, the Atari ST, and the Amiga, which keeps going into the mid to late 90s in Europe, and you're still playing. I'm going to get Bennett to show me Sensible World of Soccer. I'm fascinated. I have not played it, uh, but that is apparently a great soccer game from the mid 90s that is a joystick and a button. Um, anyway, how are these guys doing? They're doing fine because uh, the world is paused. So, I can. But, right. The, the point is, is that UI-wise, in terms of, like, a mouse-based game, um, I, I guess it was, right, this in Dungeon Master, that's why they really impressed me, was because in their own way, they were classier than the Mac. I mean, you know, the Mac was classy in its own way. It really, like, I never thought of doing word processing really on the Amiga. Um, I would just use my mom's uh, Compaq, which was a, a IBM clone, um, or, and then as soon as I got the Mac, that was like a joy to write on, even though it was the, the little black and white, you know, the fat Mac, one step beyond the original, well, not the, the original is 128K, that thing was unusable, then the fat Mac, 512K, reasonably usable, and then, uh, the Mac Plus, uh, was one megabyte, and then I had this enormous hard drive external that was, I think, 40 megabytes, um, that took a minute and a half. Uh, I would time it against various Ramon songs, and it would generally win. Um, all right. What are these guys up to? You? So what I can do is raise and lower the land. But to do that, is that any one of these particular commands? No. So, okay, what I got up here, raise and lower the land, move the onk, right? The onk, they got the skull, I got the onk, and as I think you're looking at earlier, they're both starting just in the dead center for no reason. Um... Shield doesn't seem to bring me anywhere. Uh, this brings me to the Ankh. Oh, this brings me to that guy. Um, if he was a knight, it'd bring me to that. This would bring me to a battle. Um, but right, I can move that Ankh, um, and then they'll all follow to it. This guy will turn into a knight if I want to, and, he'll, and then the next guy who touches the Ankh will become the new leader. Etc. Then you got Earthquake, Swamp, Turn a Guy into a Knight, Volcano, uh, Flood, and then Armageddon, which is a feature I think uh, Peter Molyneux and Bullfrog and Company probably were inspired by Archon 2. Uh, one of the best features of Archon 2 that definitely fixed a design flaw of Archon 1, which is that the game could kind of just stalemate, um, basically. Uh, was that in Archon 2, if you're, you know, beating someone else or you just want to call it a day, you could hit the Armageddon button, and it would just add up all your strength, and then into one final um, duke in and out fight. Um, same idea here, although this is not an action game like Archon, so, but yeah, it is a, an RTS, essentially. A weird RTS, a god game, you know, all these things. All right. But yeah, I'm finding just looking at this very pleasing um, in a way that, uh, even the Cineware games, I don't know. Um, they have their pleasing moments, but... Okay, so can I only raise and lower land when I'm not paused? Probably. So, is that recall? Yes, right-click to lower the land, left-click to raise the land. Yes, it is like bubble pop. Um, and, you know, it's not the only way to do it, but having a bunch of flat land is generally the strat, um, because as you can see, the places get nicer the more flat land you have. Uh, you don't want to build, but then... They do, they produce stronger guys, but it's a little slower. Um, so let's see. Uh, but I thought that would tell me about stuff. Um, it's okay. Um, and, you know, if I want them to, to move, I can always just go like that, and then the guy will be like, hey. Uh, so now I've got enough juice to move the onk. Um... That heartbeat, man. Okay. So yeah, this game starts fairly uh, passive-aggressive. Uh, there's no there's no Zerg Rush. Um, 
I'm just gonna make the land nice and listen to the lovely heartbeat and uh, whooshing. Um, yeah, there's no way to zoom out or any, anything fancy like that. So you've got you've got that level and you've got that level. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm sorry I don't have more of an ASMR voice because uh, this is the sort of transcendent, transcendently boring kind of game that would go well with that. Um, but at least so far, I probably won't play too much of this uh, on stream. Uh, but I might play some of this on my own. It is um, probably well like listening to a podcast. It seems like that kind of game. I'm pretty sure I listen to a lot of music, um, you know, my, my CD collection or whatever, uh, while I was playing this as a teen. Um, maybe not. Maybe I was just sitting there transfixed by the heartbeat. Okay, little guy. Um, so this is, okay. What do we got going on over here? I can't mess with these guys. But when I build it to an earthquake. So they're, yeah, uh, they're not very proactive. Uh, evil is uh, allowing his guys to live in these Savo huts. Um, so really all I've got to do, um, maybe not have a castle, right? Oh, sorry, buddy. Why don't you build something a little smaller? There we go. See? And then a guy will pop out of you. Yeah, there's some weird... The guys will also combine with each other. Um, maybe I'll do a little more research into populist strats now that we have access to the, you know, internet and such. Um, but yeah, you don't just want one big castle. Uh, there's also four terrain types. There's, uh, the grassy, as you can see. Um, okay, you can go over there. Uh, oh, sorry, buddy. Uh-oh, that's probably going to turn into a castle. Um, all right, the, the raise and then lower does a bunch of stuff at once. Yeah, this is a, a soothing game. Okay, what time is it? 3.30? I will not allow myself to play this for... Uh, at the, uh, the latest, I'll stop it for and do something more interesting. Um, but let's see if I can at least, you know, get past Genesis. Um... As I recall, you don't even need a saved game, though, uh, because uh, you just need... The saving is the is the name of the next level, the, of the level you're on, and I guess everything past Genesis has nonsense names uh, that you would not think of on your own. Um, so I'm sure on the internet there's a list of all 500 names, and now I can cheat to my heart's content. Um, all right, keep going, guys. Okay, now I've got Earthquake powers, but honestly, oh, well, well, maybe, let me, uh, let me help my guys before I hurt their guys, but the other side is evil. Um, I'm sure that they will Earthquake me as soon as I get the chance. They're just slow. Um... Populous 2, uh, I have not really played, but I should play that because I think that actually, I did play some of Power Monger. I remember even, I think that was one of the games I borrowed from good old software station where I used to work. Okay, so let's get this right there. Hey, how do you like them apples? Run, run little guys. Build your little huts. Go back to your primitive state until the computer gets around to uh, fixing it. Um... Okay, where's my guys? Okay. You're a frontiersman. Uh, yeah, this is an incredibly stupid, satisfying game. I mean, there is some strategy, you know, as I recall, when you get to later levels. Um, it can get strategic, but even then, I think 90% of it, it, like, if I don't know, if you don't enjoy clicking, uh, you're going to be doing a lot of clicking. Um, right? This is, this is what it's about. It's like a cross between StarCraft and Cookie Clicker. I mean, that's the way to think of it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, an odd... Com I mean, it's it's kind of RTS, but... Uh, well, when we get to the, the fights, you, you have not too much control over them. Um, 
I mean, you can see why people would be dazzled by this at the time, and it is kind of addictive. Um, I kind of want to skip ahead 100 worlds, honestly. Um, okay, well, I don't know. There is at least a snowball effect, right? I am definitely um, clicking as fast as my little clicking can go. Uh, it's not as though, oh, I can make a knight. Or I can almost make a knight. Um, I, like, I do want all of this. Uh, owie. It actually starting to give me, like, some sort of purple tunnel. I think I'll switch to the touchpad. Sorry if that... Um, yeah, why is this... I don't know. I'm usually pretty okay with clicking on stuff. Um, let me try to adjust... Got the same uh, shape. All right, get my mouse pad. I guess I could pause there, but again, this is level zero. I think this is a done deal. Let's just let's wreak some havoc. Sorry, guys. Oh, let's let's be especially mean. Bloop. Ha ha ha. Yes, I'm the good god. Just in case you are wondering, um, and oh, it's nice. I can I forgot I can hear the sound all the way from here. Every time one of the, his guys dies in quicksand, um, there we go. The sweetest sound. <laughs> it's terrible. It's very visceral. I didn't recall how. Uh, oof. Anyway. Um, if anyone wants to get some hearts going in the chat, tell me how I can change this from saying it's about Sea of Thieves. Uh, any of these things. Uh, any questions? Uh, I might be able to answer them. Uh, okay, what well, the guy? See, a knight's not... Gonna, okay, what I gotta do... Okay, maybe maybe now I start getting strategy. Uh, I'll become a strategy kind of guy here. Okay. Let's build a land bridge. Oh, you can't unless one of your little guys is on the screen. Not recall that feature. Come on, little guy. So that, okay, well that explains, okay, well then let's move the Ankh. Um, okay, right. Let's move the Ankh here. Uh, let's have guys go to the Ankh. All right, manifest destiny, guys. This land is ours. Um, how's your swamp doing? Uh, oh, right, it's bottomless, so you can't even do anything about it. Oh, I'm sorry, man. But, yeah. Boop -ba -doop -ba -doo. Look, being a good god, and the manual, you know, the instruction manual makes it clear. I am good. Uh, all these acts are righteous. Um, they're evil. They're red. I am blue. Um, should we make a knight? Yes. But first we should... Uh, okay. Well, let's... Lower all this. Although he could... Well, he's not going to flood me. I guess in later games you got to be careful about that. But... Uh, that's not the wherewithal. Um, all right. Now you're a knight. Let's follow you as you just kind of work your way across the uh, table, and then the rest of these guys will still be heading for the on. Now I'll get a new leader there nice and soon. Oh, the, mm, the knight and the swamp do contraindicate each other. Because uh, I think... I don't know. Can my guy fall in my own... Oh, right. I totally forgot about this stuff. Uh, who is my shield following? Oh, okay. You've got a crossbow. Good for you. Um, let me check in on my knight. Okay, my knight seems... He's maybe having some pathfinding issues. Uh, fair enough. 
an arduous journey. Um, I believe in you. Come on. Uh, Okay. Uh, why don't you build the thing? There we go. All right. Where is my... Did he already die? Nope. No, he's just... Wow. You can do it. I believe you, guy. You're gonna make it. Let's make sure not to uh, drown you by accident. Yeah, that's not a way. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm sure you're going to do a great job. Check in on you in a second. Hopefully that wasn't you. Um, I could just launch a volcano at this point. I could make another night. Yeah. Once the snowball gets rolling. How are we doing? Oh, dear. Yeah. Rude. Okay. Are you going to fall in? So let's find out. You know, if it happens, it happens. Where'd you go, buddy? You seem to be avoiding it, so that's good at least. So... These are his stats, and I think it's like hour hand, minute hand, essentially, where... Yeah, the big bar... Um, how are we doing over here? You're still, yeah. That swamp is definitely preventing you from really uh, taking advantage of this place's potential. Uh, well, we put another one down. There we go. Plague! Plague on all of you! This is definitely due to Armageddon. Um, let's make another night. I think you got more than one night, right? Uh, sure. Someone become the new leader. All right. Yeah. Could have spent that time as a teen learning Latin, I guess, but... No. No, my brain would have gotten very tired very quickly. I think this is what it was, it was okay with. Uh, but yeah, this is... This is definitely the most um, ambient stream I've done. I got nothing to say. I'm just... Hypnotized by the you know, raising the land, you're loaning the land. Victory is inevitable, but I can't do it yet because um, I don't have Armageddon power yet. Um, and probably, if I want to, you know, skip ahead the most levels, I should actually let me just uh, decimate them the old-fashioned way. Um, I mean, I can just keep being brutal, right? This is, let's just do it, let's just, uh, sorry, it's just so effective. But once you do that, you don't want to do the other, uh, uh, I could flood them, but, but my guy's right there, so, oh gosh, look at all this, I'm sorry. Um, you know, okay, you guys can build, why don't you build? Why don't you gather? Why don't you uh, meet up with each other and turn into larger, stronger dudes? 
So that's how it works. They're, they're kind of uh, single-celled organisms. They, well, I don't even think, I don't think two amoebas can actually form one big amoeba, right? Uh, but these guys can. Um, All right, shield guy. Yeah, I guess if I do a flood that hits me as well, that would be, that'd be funny. Um, so... It is 3.42. Okay. Hopefully, wrap this up in the next. I am at flood level. Just get as much mana as possible, I guess. And get to Armageddon level. Um, uh, yeah, there's just no other, you know, what can I do to this guy that I haven't done already, essentially? Um, I mean, I could let down another swamp there. But yeah, an earthquake is just going to make this better, essentially. Um, yeah, there's no, that's the interesting thing. There's no, no big divine intervention I can do to help my guys. It's all destruction. Um, I guess one strategy is build your guys high up and then you can, you can do the, uh, flood smackdown. Because I think the flood is just global. Um, as I recall. All right. And yeah, I think this energy is exponential, essentially. So that's why it's taking so long to build up at this point. Um, there's always, yeah, it is so bubble pop. There's always some, if you're, um, unless you pause it. And, and as I think if you pause it, yep, you can't, you can't do anything. But you can only look around. I think once I got to the later levels, I got very adept at the sort of like pause, find a place to do the thing, unpause, pause again. All right, but it's fine. I want time to go by because I want that to hit that skull. These poor guys. That sound, that constant sound. It's just, so, let's see. so if I do a little earthquake, yeah, see, it doesn't even affect... Oh, sorry guys. But yeah, that didn't even take it down a pixel because um, it's so exponential. Um, I'm kind of just tired of that sound. Well, okay. Let's compromise. Um, why don't I just, yeah, let's send our guys on the aggressive in general, right? Um, let's uh, well, let's make another knight. Can't can't go wrong with that. This guy can become the new leader guy. Right? Someone become the new leader guy. Maybe. You do it. Thank you. Okay, and now everyone just let's just attack some dudes. Uh, yeah, this energy meter, man, it takes a while to build up Armageddon. That's for sure. Um, just can you just surrender already? I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna do more swamp because swamp is disgusting. Um, how about a nice volcano? It's just not worth the energy, though. Just want, just want to end. Come on. Have a nice earthquake. Bye. All right. I'm a just god, as you can tell. Um. Yeah, this is Peter Molyneux's first game. It's it's uh, primitive in some ways, but and slow, but uh, 
Now I say, like again, there is something there's something Moorish about it, as you British people say. Um, he wasn't wrong that this sort of like weird bubble pop land fixing thing. Um, want to make everything flat. And it's like, yeah, I guess it's the Tetris compulsion to just fill it all in. Uh, all right. Maybe I should just, I don't know, I could stick the Yonk, uh, let's just stick the Yonk here and they'll, uh, they'll figure out what to do. Just everyone, just go. Right, so I can spawn dudes. So that's a thing, right? Because they do, they spawn faster in the smaller places. I definitely recall this. Where, like, you do that to spawn a little guy. He would have been stronger if I had waited. Um, but he'll be plenty strong. And then they can, they can keep trying to make some guys. Um, yeah, which is, you know, weird. Doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. But it gives you something to do. It's got some push-pull to it. A bunch of sorts. Let's see. And yeah, this is my strength. This is his strength. Oh, good. We're at Armageddon point. Um, do I do it or do I let them? Uh, I guess we just do it. Why? Why? Let's see. How are my knights doing? Do I not have any knights? They all died. Maybe they do die in the swamp. Well, anyway, these meters are so out of whack. Um, although, no. Get them. Now, nah, let's just do it. I can do... No, no I can't. Okay, they're all gathering up. They're all becoming one, one super guy. And the land is just growing so that they can meet in the center. So here's my super guy. Right. I guess, I think it's again exponential that yellow, one yellow bar equals a full orange bar or something like that. So I think there's three levels of bars. There's the two orange and then the yellow, something like that. All right. Let me follow my buddy here. Where are you going, buddy? What about this guy? Yep. Uh, you're almost full. Game one. Did he just die? Alright. Hooray for me. I've beaten level zero. Took me 40, uh, 30 minutes. I remember you. Skoquamet, you say. Um, well, I'm recording this, so I don't need to write that down. Let's see. Let's see the beginning of Skoquamet, but maybe I'll move on to another game. And I did say four. I have ten minutes. Battle number five. Um, swamps are shallow. Water is harmful, not fatal. Um, oh, he can't do any of that stuff, but he can do... Okay, that's important to look at. He can do floods. Okay, well, again, it's all code names anyway, so. So at least take a gander. Yep, didn't start paused. Uh, there we go. Don't want these guys. Yep, I think he died already. Oh, that's sad. Um, well, I'm already behind the eight ball. Okay, well, now we, we, uh, we played around the populace. Skokomet can wait. Um, and you'll temporarily see behind the veil. Um, I guess I can... Uh, here. Doo -doo. Operators are standing by. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Um... It says it's about to start. I'm here. I'm not going to. Uh, but, you know, I don't. I want it to be uh, classy. Uh, so I'll try to hide 
Uh, I know normally from this stream it's console stuff, which you know, will a little smoother in terms of uh, you're not actually seeing the file folders or whatever. Um, but you know, here we're doing Amiga emulation, so it's the raw, pure raw power. Okay, so let's do something a little classier. Um, what's classier than a good Cineware game like Defender of the Crown, uh, which I played uh, some of last time. I think I want to go through the various versions of it. It's a very important game. I'm not going to say it's a good game necessarily. Um, that's very pretty. Um, so anyway, let's give it a, a load here. Where's my mouse? Okay, I think here we go. I didn't change the uh, name. I'll get around to that in a second. I still can't figure out how to make this say it's not a Sea of Thieves. It's still not Sea of Thieves. There we go. What? What's going on here? Where are these little fellas? Yes, I fooled you. This is not Defender of the Crown. This is the CinemaWare Three Stooges game. Um, first time anyone has maybe successfully fooled anyone with that in 30 years. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at this. Um, now this is more like it. So, Three Stooges. Uh, we're going through one of their periodic revivals in the 80s. I'm sure you all remember the hit song, The Curly Shuffle. I'm sure that uh, translated to the UK. Um, okay, let me, uh, now that my hilarious gag is done, I can type the true name of this game. I believe this is 1987. So fairly early, right? The American, yeah, I would, uh, there we go. Uh, Robert and Phyllis Jacob, executive producers, yeah. They were basically the founders of Cinemaware. Um, and yeah, uh, you know, in this 80s class, I kind of talk about, you know, the transition in America from the 80s to the 90s is basically the Amiga just becoming a non-relevant machine and DOS kind of dominating, right? That uh, the 80s are a Tower of Babel externally where there's 17 different incompatible computers. Um, and then the 90s are an internal Tower of Babel where everyone has a DOS machine, just they have different sound cards and, you know, all this stuff. So, yes, it's very sad. Uh, okay, I do have the manual. Um, including a board. So, I'm going to keep those open. Yes, the house. Uh -oh. So, yeah, part of this, pretty straightforward. Um, Got to make money to pay uh, for the orphanage. Don't worry, lady, we'll get the dough. See? Well, all those voice samples. So, yeah, um... Cinema games in general were all genre-based, right? Defender of the Crown is like Errol Flynn, uh, Sinbad, uh, King of Chicago is gangster movies. Uh, it came from the desert, which maybe I'll play later, which is a good one, is, you know, a monster 50s giant ant movie kind of thing. And this, The Three Stooges, so slapstick comedy. Um, again, I know, I'm very curious, actually, if this is even a thing that is known of in the UK in any way, shape, or form. Probably through The Simpsons or one of those things. Uh, but yeah, um, this seems like a fairly straightforward minigame collection. I got it. Money. Okay, so I hit the button. I got the money. 
Although it was on zero, so I don't know if it actually registered when I hit the button. We'll find out. How do I get this money? All right, that was easy enough. Well, you know, 400 bucks just lying around. And this is like 1930, so that's a devastating amount of money to leave somewhere. That's like a house. Okay. Uh, the button does not seem to be working. Is it the mouse? Is it... Okay. Uh... No, it's not detecting... Uh... God darn it. That's why. Um... Ah, <sighs> okay, sorry. Uh, please stand by. See, now it says Atari C64 Amiga Joystick. Just like we want. Of course, we're going to have to... No, I, we can at least skip. I, I think I can hit the button to skip the hilarious prank intro, for instance. Um, we'll find out. I hope it doesn't mute me for my devastatingly accurate depiction of uh, Sweet Torture Brown there. Um, that is copyrighted probably still. Maybe? Can I? Please? It doesn't have to be in port 2. This is an encounter with 64. Well... It's very good. You, 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 admittedly. They, they sh it should be unskippable. What am I saying? It's gonna take 20 seconds to load. You're not gonna let people skip it. Um... Okay, hitting return. Uh, now this is more like it. Okay. I'm just going to keep hitting the button in return until something happens. Mo is their leader. If you're interested in the history of the Three Sutures, I will say that the manual is two-thirds like... Yeah. Okay. Come on. Uh, neither mouse nor spacebar nor... I think the joystick is working. It claims the joystick is working. Maybe you just, again, can't skip over it. Yeah, that's something that shows up in here. Uh, yeah, we know. Come on. Come on, you've got it. I mean, it's, 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 it's not as though uh, there's a tremendous amount of dialogue that we have to get through again, but... I guess I should appreciate the details. Appreciate the three-eyed baby. Appreciate... Uh, What's the matter, lady? That's my best Curly Howard. Yes. See who's, who says, uh... Okay. Hitting the button does nothing. 
anything do anything. Don't worry, lady. We'll get the dough. See, deadly accurate. That's a little count counterpoint. Okay, please work with the joystick now. Don't make me go through that again. There's a pie game. I'm looking forward to that. Don't really understand what the... No! No! What? I didn't just restart it, I swear to God. No! No! No. Do not. No. Okay. I should have done a save save, I guess. This is, okay, I am not. Mm. Well, I mean, this is, I mean, this is the full emulation experience, I gotta say. That is the point of this stream, is to show you what you've been missing by not trying to play 1987 Amiga games. And this is a lot of what you're missing. Okay, okay. We have seen this so many times. Is there any way in the manual that wants to tell me anything about how to skip over all this? No. Just a lot of details about the Three Stooges. Joe Besser, yeah. Uh, Curly Joe. Curly Shuffle gets mentioned. It doesn't say anywhere in the manual if this is a mouse or a joystick game, I will admit. It must be a joystick game. But I could be wrong. No, wait, the slapping game, the joystick controls the movements of Moe's limbs. So... So it's gotta be. Uh, okay. This is definitely Ken Rince's most professional stream ever. What's the matter, lady? Please let me... Skip all this. What happens if I do this? Keyboard. See, no, no, that's not making a difference. Okay, come on. This, please let this be the game. If this is going to go back to Defender of the Prime, I, I will just quit right there. I swear to God. Come on. We had you working last time. Oh my... Why? Okay. Okay. It's called cutting your losses. Well, that was the Three Stooges. Clearly, I need to find a, uh, maybe a different file for that. All right, back to the standby screen. I'll load up something else real fast. I have a, I have an agenda here. Um, yeah. I got the joystick plugged in. Let's check out, here's a game I've never played, but a student, uh, Nick Howe, recommended. Uh, Zool, 1992's Zool. Um, no connection with Ghostbusters. Only Zool. Z O O L. Uh, alright. See, that was fast. By 1992, we knew what we were doing. But again, is it that the joystick is, uh. It, it recognized the joystick. It believes in the joystick. Four settings, joystick mode. 
Joystick port one. Yeah, I guess it is just not. Because, oh, well, maybe that's the map. It's always hard to tell. There's all these Commodore 64 games where, like, you have to plug the joystick into port one to get through the crack screen, but then you plug into port two for the actual game because there's all technical reasons that Commodore 64 doesn't want your joystick in port one because it was made uh, under great time constraints. Let's just leave it at that. Um, all right, so far, at this point, I just, if a game functions, oh, that's an interesting, is this real? It's got the little R. I've never heard of Chupa Chops, but again, Britain is a magical foreign land. Yeah, I just noticed I got, yeah, a little hot out. I'm casual. Chupa Chups. No idea. It could be real, could be made up. I believe anything. I believe uh, most things. It's my talent. Um, I don't know why the chat is flickering. Um, as you can see, I have it open in a fairly rudimentary way where it's just a window capture because I don't really know how any of this stuff works. Um, Hey, the fire button worked. That's a good sign. So, the, it's not the joystick's fault. It's the Three Stooges' fault. All right, speaking of which, I guess while we're listening to this thing load, I don't know who made Zool. Um, oh, Gremlin, I guess. I think it said. Uh, there we go. That's the only song I know. I'm sorry. I, uh, if the Washington Generals had a theme song, I would know that as well. But, you know, that's all I've got. Okay. Things have stopped loading. Ooh, here we go. Chupa Chups! Zool! So I did look on Moby Games. And, uh, definitely the Amigo version is the best-looking version of this game. It came out on the Atari ST, DOS, VGA, Genesis. Um, I've got two disk drives. I know that, uh, okay. Fine. I guess you do not recognize us fancy Americans with our two disk drives. Um, fair enough. I didn't have two, certainly. Um, Okay. Hopefully that will work. Just put it in the, the one drive. Mmm, classic. Classic emulation fun. Drive count one. Put disk two in and press five. But I did, you see. It did. I don't know what you want me to do, honestly. That's all I got. I got a disc one, I got a disc two. If I put this one in again, probably not gonna like that either. What if we try this two now? 
I mean, there's you don't hit start. There's hmm, maybe I have to do it here. Uh, uh, Interesting. This might actually make sense. Okay, so let's try that. Did I figure it out? Nope. I'm guessing no. No, wait. No. No, that would have made too much sense. Um, but it isn't this one. Of That's a different sound. Okay, I think I get the logic of this. If this did in fact work, it's doing something. It's doing more than it was before. Emulators. There! Prepare yourself! Oh god. Look at all those smiley faces. The E is just hit. Sean Ryder would make a good Max Headroom. I mean, Max Headroom is British. Technically. Well, eh, whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, I'm definitely prepared. Uh oh. The key, the key's going up. Dum dum. All right, Zool. Shame this thing doesn't have a warp mode. Or if there is one, I have not been able to find it. Or, well, not one that won't also just make the game play it. Anyway. Yeah, other emulators are better. Apple II, Mac emulator, you gotta pay 20 bucks, or else it pauses for five minutes every minute or something. But you pay your 20 bucks, absolutely beautiful. Um, Commodore 64, you got between Virtual 60 and 64, uh, and then if that fails twice, you're doing pretty good. Oh my god. Are you, is this, is, are you loading all of this too? What is going on? Don't make me start whistling Sweet Georgia Brown again. I mean, this is, you know, I mean, I'm sure, you know, listen to Leon talk about having a cassette drive on the Atari 400. I at least had a disk drive. All right. This does look very pretty. But, of course, again, joystick and one button means jump is up. Um, which, you know, I'm okay with. Uh, Zul has some interesting physics. He is a rad ninja. Chupa chips really, I guess they must be real. Why would you, Chupa chups, sorry. What is going, is this, oh no. Oh, I kind of figured you'd just, okay. Oh, sorry, sir. Okay. It's a candy land, that much I get. Ooh, I'm a ninja, that's right. Funny, okay, that works. Oh no. What was that? Hit. What is going on? No, please, please go away. 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 Oh god. Oh, did I just. Yep. Why? Well, I seem to have five lives by the bottom right corner. Let's try that again. Oh, well, that's, that's a nice feature. Um. Oh, you guys, just terrible. Okay. That's a thing. Those are things. Guess I'm collecting the candy. You seem bad. Oh, I can I can bounce on their heads, so it's good. I mean, yeah, this is this is it is interesting though. I mean, you know, in a sense an Amiga is ahead of Nintendo. Um maybe even, you know, in some ways 
but, you know, ahead of the Super Nintendo, but this still feels like, yeah, a little, all right, uh, you know, yeah, I, that, that was not great. Um, yeah, it's interesting to see the platform on a joystick with one button. Love to see it. Oh, dear. Well, if you're looking for a speed run, you definitely come to the wrong place. This is a reasonably, I mean, this is, this is, uh, it's cute. I'll give it that. I mean, it's good. It is, you know. Uh, at least I have three lives. Or three energy. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, but it's floaty in a way that I would definitely have to get used to. I'm not saying it's... automatically bad. That's a cute animation. And you do have unlimited... Um, fire, apparently. Okay, I saw that coming. Uh, that worked. Okay. Okay. Yeah, landing on them is dicey, but I seem to be up. I seem to be doing it okay. Up. Oh. For a ninja, that is a very um, unprepossessing sound to make, I gotta say. Chupa Chubs. I would like a Chupa Chub. Where can I... Where can I get a Chupa Chub? That's interesting. It's very generous in terms of am I bouncing on a guy. Do I do a spin? Do I have a knife or some sort of a katana? How do I hit? Do I... Are there other buttons? I, I did not find the instruction manual for Zool. Um... Is that... I don't really understand the, the, the double ninja thing, necessarily. Now, do I want to jump over there? Nah. I'm gonna make it through level 1-1 one, one is what I want to do. Bees! The bees! Not the bees! Chup chubs! How well that strategy seems remarkably effective, actually. Just run up. Oh, uh oh. Heal me! Heal me! Oh no! Well, it does. It does. There are checkpoints, although I'm not sure where. All right, so I should start here. Where we're here is. Oh right. Oh okay. I remember you. Oh god. These bees. These. These are my nemesis. -es -es -es. Yeah, one button's got to do. There's, there's move around, and then there's the button. Uh oh. You donut man. Eat it. Ah. How do I get up there? Ah, uh, what? I clearly bonked that. Oh. Oof. I mean, it's easier than Shadow of the Beast, I'll say that. Ugh. That was at least an uh, impressive display. I don't care about points, is the thing. That is also interesting that this is... This is something I, I talk about in not so much... Well, I come up in the 80s class, but it, in for the game design point is about... The, the mysterious, the Mario point paradox, where we all go for points in Mario, uh, but none of us actually knows what points are worth in Mario. Like, you know, you might even take a risk to bounce on that third turtle and get the 2,000 or whatever. Uh, I guess that was good. Um, but, like, no one knows what their score is. You know how far you got. And, yeah, I, I do wonder... Um, that was something we noticed about Paradroid, for instance, is that it is more of a score attack game than it might have been in America at that point in uh, history. Up, oh, come on. No, oh, come now. Okay. Let me get through 1-1. One, one. That was my dream. Oh, God. That's, that's a dream deferred. 
how am I supposed to deal with this? What? Oh god. Do I just use my invul- no, I just died. That's how you deal with it. Why would you spawn me in that pit? Why would you put a checkpoint in a pit? I find that frustrating. But at least, I will say this for Zul, it loads. There we go, 32,000. Okay. Ah, uh, All right, we're moving on. Uh, though we might come back to this if you know, everything else does not load. Do 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 Tempted to go back to the Three Stooges, but I know that's a fool's errand. Um, I've got about a half hour left. Let's do... Let's look at actual Defender of the Crown. But you know... Yeah, Defender of the Crown Amiga I've played. It's very bad. I'm actually curious about the Commodore 64 version. Uh, which feels like that's a little due diligence I'm going to do. So, let me just get that open. Uh, because the thing is, is with Defender of the Crown, right, the Amiga version is the first one, and that one was the one where basically they made a bunch of cool art and then didn't have a game to go around it. Um, and uh, it is not a good game. But the ports, here we go. The ports are apparently better, and I'm certainly curious how it, how it works with a joystick. Uh... All right, but I'm going to want to put the joystick in a uh, whole other emulator to deal with here. Uh, port USB device 1, import 2. There we go. Drive error, you say. Well then. So much for that. I gotta find a better copy of that, I guess. All right. Uh, back to the standby screen for the moment. Um, and back to uh, Amiga. All right. Maybe I will just load up good old dumb Defender of the Crown. Um, oh, I really want to try the Three Stooges again, but I'm not sitting through that intro again. All right. Um, how about King of Chicago? Let's see how far I make it in that this time. Um, and this is a mouse-driven game, so... I'm going to plug my actual mousey mouse in. And uh, get started. Right. So, this is a game that actually originated on the Macintosh uh, by Doug Sharp, a very interesting game by an interesting guy. Did a very early GDC talk in 1989 about, um, yeah, how to organize uh, an adventure game. And this one is, if you've, uh, Heaven's Vault, a recent game, is influenced by this game, King of Chicago, um, in that they both use kind of a, a deck of cards system, you might say. Um, although this does seem like it, it touts that it's pretty linear as far as I've been able to tell, but then again, I keep getting killed before I get anywhere. Uh, so let's try to not have that happen this time. Um, 1986, I'm pretty sure. And, uh... Okay, mouse is working. Let 
master designer software. So yeah, so it's basically a bunch of scenes that have a bunch of different flags on them. True, false, is this character still alive? You know, and then variables, what's the morale? What's going on? And then the scenes. So yeah, apparently according to him, there are scenes that may never actually come up in a game because all the requirements can't be fulfilled, but the way he wrote them was just writing whatever came to mind. Um, and then setting the flags and having it work out. And like, that's a, it's an interesting way to do a narrative game. Um, and yeah, uh, John Engel, uh, who is the sort of architect of Heaven's Vault, I think has strong opinions on, um, in a good way. Okay, come on. Okay, I've heard enough music, I get the gist. How do I, oh right, I forgot about this from last time. Start the movie! So we get to enjoy the smooth, smooth Amiga jams. A little man's got to dream big. It's all right, you're Pinky Callahan, uh, a, a gangster in Chicago. Um, this is written by a, a man who watched a lot of gangster movies as research. And yeah, the thing with CinemaWare, if there's any chance anyone's watching this, he's watched one of the previous ones on this, I... Forgive me uh, for being myself. But yeah, these are these are very genre genre focused games and like intentionally historically ignorant in some ways. Uh, the, the Three Stooges one probably is the most accurate history. Um, now's the right time uh, to off the old man. So this is <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's go super aggro this time. I'm just literally gonna shoot the boss. Um, from the get-go. Let's see if this game lasts more than five seconds. So far my pinky has died from being too brash and too, uh, well he sees this! Oh boy. Come on in, old man! It's amazing how much of a sneer you can depict in, uh, 16-bit. Uh, is that opportunity knocking? So yeah, so... You always start out by having to become the head of the gang. And then there's a whole kind of, like, economics, light economics sim slash choose your entry element, but this is the initial hump, um, and it seems pretty linear, and, uh, bull, what? I didn't see that, Pinky. You're a pal, bull. <laughs> Scram, Pinky. See you later, bull. That's good. I need a little relaxation before things get hot tonight. Yeah, what's... let's see. Let's play the ponies. If I don't play this right, I ain't seeing tomorrow. What's my form of relaxation? I'm gonna get a drink. The little gin rummy. The kid drops in on his hero to crow over Mr. Capone's bad luck. Who's my hero? I have a hero? So far, this guy's just been dumb and mean. I didn't think he was capable. My mom? I know my mom loves me. She always shows up after I die going, Oh, he was full of mischief. Beat it, get it. I got an important meeting. Is, are you... Are you Maybe the kid is my hero. Gee, Mr. Callahan, you don't gotta be so sorry at me. I run right over when I heard Capone was going to the slammer. Sort of breaks you up, don't it? What is going on? Who's my hero? Now beat it, kid. Go play in the train tracks. God, these poses are so good. Aw, oh, Pinky. I mean, Mr. Callahan, give me a break. I need to talk to you. Yeah, I bet it's real important. You want me to help over a knife, knock over an ice cream truck, is that it? I like ice cream. Gee, give me a break. The bow tie. People been talking about you, saying you're going straight to the top of the north side. 
Why am I talking to this child? I'll brag it up for the kid. Better play dumb tonight. Yeah, I'm not bragging to a child. I'm not playing it that aggro. You got it all wrong, kid. I work for the old man, see? Ah, oh, you're some kid, Mr. Callahan. You can tell me. <laughs> what are you gonna make him? I, I, even for a child, I find you untrustworthy. I've been watching the old man. He's starting to draw. Who are you? Watch your lip, you little snip. I oughta. Just telling you what I've seen. His brain is going soft like his backbone did years ago. I should let that little. He's a good kid. Hey, he is a good kid. Who can stay mad at that little bow tied face? He is a god, a kid. Go make yourself sick on candy. Go buy yourself a house. Gee, thanks, Pinky. You're a swell guy. All right. Just shoot the old man for me, and I'll give you two quarters. What was that about? Where was my hero? Okay, let's get Ben on my side. So Ben is, is yeah, Lawrence Tierney. Uh, he seems helpful. Although last time I tried to give him 40,000. This time I'm going to try to give him 20,000. See how that goes. Classic Chicago font. I do wonder if Zool on those other systems like the Super Nintendo, like multiple buttons, would have. I've been looking for you. What can I do for you? It's about the organization. Things seem to be moving slow. The opponent's been headed for the jug for months, and it's like we're holding our breaths. I know what you mean. The boys are getting edgy. Seems to me the putting is in prime shape for a killing. Don't use that word around me, Pinky. Better blow smoke in his eyes. Time to see where Ben stands on the old man. Okay, let's blow a little smoke. What I mean is, with a little fancy footwork, we could send the South Side leader into. Permanent retirement. How's that? I gotcha. But Santucci's no fool. I guess he's a South Side guy. Besides, we got our own leadership problems at the moment. Oh, Ben! What are you talking about, Ben? You mean the old man? Eh? Eh? Getting a bit lethargic in his old age. Yeah, let's draw Ben out. Let him. That's all I need to know. Yeah! He just brought that up unprompted, and this way, I don't have to offer him $40,000 a month, or whatever my deal was the last time I got shot. You gotta do it right or wind up dead. That's what they say. Well, Ben's not a loser, but let's check in with the boys. Look, I got... Ben Ben said the old man's lethargic. What more do I want? The butcher with the sharpest knife has the warmest heart. I, uh... Don't know what that means. Definitely screenshotting that, though. Just gonna post that on Twitter with absolutely no, no context whatsoever. Eleven years, peepers. Eleven years. Al Capone is finally out of our way. See? What was that? Who slunk in here like a cat? I didn't hear nothing. 
Oh, hi here. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, apparently. <laughs> yes. They don't see me. The old man's gonna roll over them south side bassets. It's gonna be like the old times when the north side owned this town. Well, they seem positive on the old man, then. I don't want to hear any more of this crap. Better see what they really think. I think they really think the old man's got what it takes. It's a raid! Jesus, Pinky. You gave a guy the heebie-jeebies. Oh, hi there, Pinky. You guys don't seem too happy to see me. We was just talking about how the old man is going to make a monkey out of Santucci. That's right, if no one trips him up. Well, these guys are definitely not on my side. What's that supposed to mean, Bull? It means he needs the whole gang behind him. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm right behind the old man. and just shoot him with a knife in my hand. Hmm, interesting. I've not, I've not confronted this, uh... This branch before. I guess it does. I guess it's not entirely linear before. Well, but it is pushing me towards. There's no way to not try to kill the guy. So. It... Yeah. I don't want to do it. But. I don't have a choice. I'm Pinky Callahan. The old man is old and the young man's world. There's a morning affirmation for you. Well, inevitably one of my students will slaughter me and uh, start teaching the 80s class, I suppose. It's just the way of nature. Sit down and talk, Finky. I know you want to shoot me. I really, I don't think I'm in a strong position here. Lab away, old man. Oh, that's rude. What's that? Oh, come on. Don't pick a fight. I said go ahead. Flap your lips. So passive aggressive. You got a lip. I've been uh, doing some thinking, Pinky. About time. Oh, zing. Zing. What up, Pinky? I don't want to have to fight tonight. Merry Christmas. He's weak as a baby. Listen up, old man. I'm gonna talk now and you're gonna listen. Uh, what the? That old man could be a bad example for the boys. Yeah, I always try to talk him out of it, and he, uh... It doesn't work. Last time I just got shot. Enjoy the old timey saloon music. You know something big, Sloden. If you know what's good for you, you'll leave town. But Pinky, I can't just crawl away like a whipped dog. He's got a point. Capone whipped you, and if you don't get out of my sight, I'll finish the job. Sorry, I'm inconsistent. I don't really have a good accent for Pinky. I'm leaving, Pinky. Oh my god! What? It used to be I could chew up punks like you and spit them out. I can't do an old man voice either. He's got to tell the gang I'm the new... I'm not going to kill him! He's leaving! Despite the fact that he's got support, yeah, yeah. You know, you catch more flies with honey than vinegar, Pinky. You tell you and Ben and the gang, can't wait until tomorrow after the party. Fair enough. Yeah, of course. And give you a chance to cross me? Sure. I don't see a problem with that. Fat chance. Apparently I do see a problem with that. You tell him tonight and then go off on a cruise with your missus. I mean, that sounds nice. And then what? Then you can go rot in Florida for all I care. This town is mine now. See? 
Don't need you hanging around telling me how to run things. How did I manage to do this? N this time. We all know how good... I wonder how much RNG there is. You know how good you did against that slob the bone? Did he? Not much. I guess what was... The old man ain't too happy about announcing his retirement. All right. Am I going to have to shoot him still? Eventually. Is there a... Is there a not shoot the old man path? I would like to see that. Because the one time I actually did make it into the game proper, I did shoot the old man. And I didn't even die. I just, I just was like, yeah, I'll go back to this later. And ever since then, dead, dead, dead. What are you loading? Are you loading a, uh, are you loading a game? Are you loading a shooty game? No. What the hell's going on here? Tell him, old man. Aw, oh, Binky. Maybe I'll do it. No, don't rub his nose in it, dude. You're taking orders from me now, see? That right, old man. You didn't leave me no choice. Maybe I'll do him like Snagglepuss? I don't know. I'll see. About time, Binky! Aw, oh, that's rude. Like, let the old man... You and me are gonna run this gang just fine. Yep! But I ain't Pinky no more. I'm Punky. No, I'm the boss, I guess. Sure, boss. I never thought Ben would turn on me. Am I Groucho? Is that Groucho Marx? From that angle. Hit the road, old man! Before I throw you out. You could, like, you know... Magnum and the... There's new boss. All right. Let's save it here. Uh, because I didn't die. And I might die now. Northside coup. Galahan takes gang helm. Woo, 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 woo. All right. Boss Callahan. Yeah, I don't know what I did this time that actually allowed me to talk him. He just kind of gave up. He gave up before I said anything. I just let him talk. Um, no one was on my side. Well, Ben was on my side. I promised him nothing. You get nothing, Ben. You get, well, you get something, obviously. But you're not getting that 40 grand a month. Okay, I got my ledger. I got my smokes. I got my photo of my beautiful mole. I think that's mall. I don't know how that's pronounced. Mall. I got a pen. Oh, uh, did it? It just picked something for me. That's right. This game will run on its own. <laughs> we'll basically make random choices for you uh, if you delay. Which, you know, great for um, putting it in a shop window, I suppose. Um, what did I choose? We gotta move on the west soon, okay? That is what I wanted to do. No shortage of places to expand. And we're gonna, wise guy. Knock, knock, knock. Got my games confused. My cinema wear. A king without gold better have loyal knights. That sounds like a saying, I suppose? Sure. The king of Chicago. Oh, excuse me. It's 4.45 here. I have no excuse to be yawning. With what? Yeah, I have nothing. Burke's the key. Who's Burke? They don't got much scratch to offer him. Maybe make him mayor. Okay. I think he's an alderman. I remember that vaguely from the instruction manual. Stop looking at me like that, Ben. It's very disconcerting. Politicians are a gangster's best friend. Ah, there's another screenshot.
Life advice from Dark Souls style. Yeah, King of Chicago. Welcome, Miss. Oh, God. You look trustworthy. I hear there's a new boss up north side. Soon to be boss of this whole town. I mean, you'll be the mayor of all. You listen to the right people, Alderman. Don't really know who an Alderman is. This guy's ambitious. I should try to buy him while he's friendly. I should. I bet he comes cheap. <laughs> Two thousand a month. But Sam Tucci will kill me. I mean two thousand in nineteen twenty whatever dollars or nineteen thirty one or whatever. I think it over birth. I'm guessing that's uh ten times, maybe. Maybe twenty. A lot of money. Sam Tucci makes a business decision. Look, I don't have a lot. So much loading. <coughs> Fair. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Put an apple in his mouth. Will that suffocate me? You're a real poet, Mr. Santucci. <laughs> these guys. These guys are fun. Alright, that was five seconds of dialogue. Now, 20 seconds left. Boss hits the dice to loosen up. What? You got a hot hand tonight, Pete? Red hot. I should lay a bundle on seven. Let's do it. He's good for it. He's hot. Put a hundred big ones. Oh, no. Oh, no. Probably the wrong move. But he is hot. And said it. Ah! Ah, oh, there goes ten thousand dollars or something. Oops. Let's look at the ledger now. <laughs> I just can't win ten thousand dollars. Total income eighty-seven. Total expenses. Oof. Oof. Well, that can't be. Okay. Ben's getting twenty. There's the bribes. I mean, I'm gonna just have to look. I can get by. Yeah, I need more. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. Look, why do I need all this money? I'm trying to, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to grow the organization. Nice. Uh, how do I get out of this? Intermission, no. I don't want to end the movie, no. Escape doesn't work. Return doesn't work. Interesting. Rackets. What are rackets? How do I get out of this? Quit. No, I don't want to chicken out. I don't want to end the movie. I just don't know how you actually um, deal with this. Okay. Well, sorry. I'll look at the manual. 
15, I should get it. No, oh, I have it on my iPad. Or maybe it just eventually lets you out. Apparently it does. That's good. That was my special lady. Let's talk to her. Let's see, graphic adventure. King of Chicago. Lola needs what Lola wants. Screenshot. Solid. I saw the most divine hat today at Marshall Fields. Oh, come on. Well, it's draining me dry. Yeah, you know, you got such lovely hair. And I'm giving you, like, you need money? We all need money. Look, I'll think about it. Fancy hat. Oh, this is a nice background. Think about it! That's all you ever do. Basically, my bow tie child voice. Uh, I got things on my mind. I'll tell you on Friday. That's a cool phone and lamp. What about Friday? We're having dinner. Her posture at least seems reasonable. Maybe I'm busy. No, you ain't. Yeah, what are you. Don't be too sure. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Lola gonna turn on me? With a gang like this, who needs friends? Oh boy, that sounds good. Sounds promising. Look what I got sneaking round the back door. The guy with the bowler hat, Santucci's pet gorilla, Guido. I was minding my own business. And you're in the killing business. Now you're gonna get killed, just like old Bull. That's himself. Good work, Bull. Eh, I know Bull doesn't like killing guys. I don't know that for means. Give this mug a massage with a 2 by 4 There we go. Aw, oh, boss, I don't like hurting people. This ain't no person, Bull. This is a Southsider. Uh, give me a break. Come on, Guido. I'll just hit you a few times. Let's go look at the goldfish. Oh dear. What does that mean? Even a lousy gangster came from a mother's womb. Sure. I'm gonna have a whole collection of these little... Don't never come here again, mama! Oh, this is my mama. Don't talk to your mother like that, Pinky! I hear we come came because I heard you're doing well as a... What did the newspapers call you? A gangster? Mom's very clutch cargo. Uh, sure I'm doing well. Don't I send you lots of money? Move your eyes, Mom. And I can give all that filthy money straight to the church. I can't yell at Mama. Come on, man. You can't yell at Mama. You got a big heart, Mama. I'll never be good enough for you. You were good enough for me when you were little. You were such a sweet baby. Oh, don't cry, Mama. I'm paying for the pride I felt for you then. Oh, Mama. March 1932. Jailbird Capone offers to solve the Lindbergh baby kidnapping. What? 
What is it? He's not Hannibal Lecter. I need to smoke. I need to call someone. Do any of these other things do things? I need to use my car. Guido blew it again! Hey, Guido! What'd you do? What do you mean, Guido blew it again? He went back home with his tail between his legs. That's what he did. You're no good, Guido. So you couldn't put a slug in Pinky, huh? Oh, he's got a little black eye. He was got it, Mr. Santucci. I'm gonna have to get that trick if I have to do it myself. I got two. I got two voices. I got Gruff and A. Hey. Gangsters at leisure debate philosophical questions, like just like normal human beings. That's yeah. That's definitely our life lessons. This is an interesting game. It is, I mean, now that I'm getting here, right, I think, uh, apparently if you do a full, at least semi-successful playthrough, you see maybe 20% of the content, so. Play it three or four times without getting totally repetitive. What do I know about dames? Ask me about horses. I ain't picking this lug skull. No, I, I, I like Bull. Bull doesn't like, Bull's a gentle giant. So what about him? What about what? Horses! Tell me about horses. You know about horses. So give me the lowdown on horses. A day at the races beats a night with a broad. Oh, poor bull. I'm worried about you, bull. Yeah. Maybe a horse lets you down and takes your money. Oh no, horse is gone, bull. But it'll never break your heart. Oh, you're such a softy. Oh, bull. Shut up, bull. A day at the races. Either way, it's a bad bet. A little music sting there. Ba -bum -ba -ba -bum -bum. That was nice. A little character building. True, no new turf for north side. Okay. Well, that's because I have no money. My bankroll is 50000 I'm going to be losing money. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Sorry, Lola. Let's do some more of those. But let's do some less of those. I don't know. I don't know what, uh... I don't understand the leisure thing. So exit the ledger, click on the far right edge of the screen. There we go. Durr. But yeah, uh, I guess I got to take over the west side. I guess that's the way to do it. I guess that's, you got to expand fast. For your own money. Do you want to be the king of Chicago? And I guess that's why the end is circled, because I'm the king of the north side. Now, I'm the king of the west side. We got a lot of room to grow. I'd say the west is next. You better believe it. The west side is the way to the south. Well, from the north. Or the east side would also be the way to the south, but definitely you can't go directly from north to south. I have six men. What I should have done is gotten a lot of men very fast and taken over the west side immediately. We can walk right into the west side. Is there just nobody there? Ah. Tell me your secrets. Shoot! Alderman Burke owns the West. All right, we're bribing him. You have a big reputation. I earned it. That I did. Not clear on how. 
Just got charisma. My flesh colored stubble. Brooks a tough egg with a thin shell. It's ringing. Now play it close this time, boss. Yeah, I know. Hey, Bucky, it's me, Callahan. Jesus, boss, show some respect. That's right, boss Callahan. Good to talk to you too, Alderman. Sounds good, boss. Make your pitch. I got no cash. How do you like the sound of Maya Book? Sure, we can get you in. I got six men. They'll all vote for you. Decide with me and you're in. Don't listen to my voice cracking. It's a deal. I'm going to take you right to the top. All right. It's five. I was going to stop at five, but I want to see what happens. The general addresses his troops on their victorious campaign. What? All right, you mugs. I'm making a speech, and here it is. Bull, peepers. You may be the ugliest bunch of thugs I've ever seen, but you're okay by me. Rude. Business is good, and I got nobody to blame but you guys. So keep up the good work, and we'll need pitchforks to clear out the dough. Well, they deserve a bonus, I guess. Get and tell and Ben to give you all a raise. Are they among my six men? Gee, boss, you don't gotta do that. Peepers just sort of looks at the camera. You can pull a trigger. You can always earn a buck. Oh, yeah. Life lessons from King of Chicago. I mean, this game, yeah, I, I've, of the Cinemaware games, this is probably, along with It Came From The Desert, uh, probably the most playable. He's a dead man. Who's this guy? Wait, what? Santucci! I still haven't shot my gun yet. Yeah, good luck with that. Let's look at the ledger. Hey! Profit! Actual profit. Even though I'm paying the, them more. Let's get you up a little. Sure. Back to where you are. Uh, a lot of bribes. Um, the rackets are doing well. Let's do more rackets. Maybe he's up on the... The gamble. Uh, let's give Lola a little more money. I mean, she deserves it, right? And yeah, we don't need big profits. What we need is men. There we go. This looks promising. In the Macintosh version, you would have to go through an endless cycle of questions with Ben that would take as long as the rest of the game combined. Um, yeah, the cigarettes don't do anything. Uh, fine. I haven't tried clicking on the lamp. So is it... Love's old sour song. Oh, boy.
Hey, Lola. I bruise easy, so don't push. What? I'd never let anything happen to ya. Yeah, my dame. Like hell you wouldn't. Ladies don't talk like that. You've been using me and now it's gonna stop. I gave you a raise. What are you talking about? Using you? You never had it so good. You call this good? Yeah, it's nice. Look at this dump. What? You got a fancy phone? You got a lamp? If you weren't such a slob, look at the lamp. It's all askew. I even got a car. A car? Those haven't even been invented. Like you promised me. I'll give her a four. Next time she'll want a yacht. Eh, how much is a car? Like $300? Come on. I, I think literally it's like $300. Do you mean it, Pinky? I said it, didn't I? Yeah, I mean, a car, this isn't like a, a hat. Cars are useful. Oh, Pinky! I don't know what to say. She can't refuse me now. She'll come up with some damn excuse. What am I? Oh. Uh. Ugh. Oh, I didn't. Uh -huh. So how about it, huh? A little loving for your sugar daddy? Oh, dear. I wasn't born yesterday. I'll deliver some loving when you deliver the... These are adults! These are people in their, like, 30s. I assume... Hmm. The boss pours out his heart. Hardly a trickle. That's, that's very... Hmm. This game isn't... Well, the time... The time is... Everyone has a pre-woke period. I'm sure Pinky, uh... We can't at all his gender uh, patriarchal ways. Lola says I got no taste. What? Dames, what do they know? Now horses, they got taste. Bull is the only one who listens to me. <laughs> so I bring her this diamond brooch bigger than your fist. I say, she says it ain't ladylike. You're joking me. Bella would croak if I give her a diamond brooch. Well, listen to this. I bring Lola a fox collar and she wants a coat. I bring her a coat. She says I never take her out no place nice. I take her down to Jimmy Slim's and she says all the girls look like... Sex workers. Let's fix. They are sex workers, boss. Real nice girls, too. She wants we should go to the symphony. You and me, boss. Ah, oh, No, you knucklehead. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Her and me. Although, you know, you should probably go to the symphony before you can get some culture. What you want with culture, boss, with your dough? This control for take her to the fights. I done that. This is a long scene. We got home. She says she got a headache. Dames, what a racket. I no comment on uh, this game. Uh, well, you know, it is, I suppose, accurate to the uh, the movies. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen that many of those. Um, the left side? What is that about? I just clicked on the pen. I don't know what that means. Ah, territory is twice what it was. That's true. It's the north and the west. Santucci's gonna fight for Senna City. L stands for Senna, I guess. We may just do it. Well, do it all right. Who's that boxer? That's going my mom. I guess me when I was boxing? But the cupboard was bare. What? Am I out of money? I did not check my ledger this uh, time around. But... 
I had seventy thousand in profits. I had a fifty thousand dollar bankroll. Um. Hmm. We in a couple of years back. Hit the loop with all we got. Look, I'm going in. I want to come down hard on the loop. The loop, I guess, is Central City. L stands for loop. What's he got up this? Is this another Alderman Burke thing? You got the floor, Ben. We gotta get organized for the election. Oh, right, we actually have to get Burke uh, mayorized. We can't buy Burke the mayorship. But we can swing the boat. Let's do it. Swing that boat. You need plenty of cash or muscle to win a show. Oh, yeah, that is definitely a screenshot. Oh, Burke. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Who do you blame when it's your own damn fault? Not really a life lesson. Just a, just a statement. It is, is this the end of Pinky Callahan? I blame society. So you lost it. I didn't have enough cash or muscle to sell you to the voters. You make it sound like it's my fault I didn't win. Well, you know, I was only the candidate. <laughs> Fair. And a lousy one at that. Give me a break, Callahan. Yeah. I'd like to break his neck. I'm not... It's not his fault, honestly. Get the hell out of here before I bust ya! Come on, Callahan. We're in this thing together. We were in this thing together. You're still an alderman. Don't remind me what a chump I was, Burke. I'm going. I feel like I'm just sliding towards mediocrity. That smirk. Chicago ain't the only town in America that grows crooks. Eh, you sure? I think they all start there and then they just spread across the states. It's a central point. Where is a crook coming from this time? Cleveland? Them four oh no! Them foreigners are getting on my nerves. Yeah! Who are they, anyway? Are we talking about the Italians? Mugs from Jersey! Oh no, the worst! Deeper seen them in the old days. What are they up to? Nosing around. There's no criminals in New Jersey. I would know. I'm from there. From rotten fish. I need some more boys. This'll blow over when the Jersey boys see me at work. Yeah, it's going to be fine. This all blow over. They're probably small-time punks. Once they see how I run this town with my six men, they'll hightail it out of here. It's only like 30 people in Chicago, right? That's right, boss. Someone, I have to decide on... Uh-oh. Santucci. Oh dear, what? Yes! You could have warned me. A strong man makes his own luck. Yep, there we go. Life lesson.
takes more than a hired punk to nail me. Jeez, boss, you're really something. I forgot I was going to do the dumb guy boy. Think so? Sure I am. I should chew out the boys. Nah, I'm fine. They're doing their best. I guess I showed Mr. Santucci a thing or two. We let you down, boss. I guess I can take care of myself. Oh, Bo, I can't stay mad at you. January 1933. Turf comes hard and slow. Too slow. All right. How is the ledger looking? My bankroll is still 50,000. My profits are reasonable. What do I need all this money for? Why are my bribes still so high? Why am I paying Lola so much? Screw that. And then, nah, you can say the same. Let's get some more men. I can afford two more men. And uh, let's cut these bribes. Sure. Let's uh, squeeze the stickies easily. It is the 30s. I thought Prohibition had been repealed by now, but what do I know? What do the keys do? I guess maybe just a, a random conversation trigger. Even crooks need to get some sleep. Yeah, I think that's basically what it is. Like, I don't know what to do. Give me a scene, All right? Um, sometimes Pinky will think about drawing his gun. True. Keys, exit the screen by kicking on the keys. Oh, the keys just take you to the next, what is going to happen? Okay. Yeah, just doing some sightseeing. Oh, but mighty persistent. They're just curious, these guys. I don't like it. You want to send some boys, set up a parlay? Get rid of them. Yeah, let's do it. These Jersey boys. I want them swimming in Lake Michigan tonight. Don't talk about that around me. We're gangsters. Excuse me. We got some people who are soft to bet the heavy stuff. Yeah, come on, Ben. Not for long. Let's just... Let's just go for it. I got ten men. Who can beat that? Guess I should check the ledger first. We got the north side and the west. I'm going to own the whole town. Me just do it. I'll do it all right. Political power don't go to the poor. Yep. So many life lessons in this game. Hit the loop with all we got. We're doing it! Look, I, uh... Either we're gonna win or die trying. That's my motto. I got work to do. But... Okay, what do we got? We don't have Alderman Burke! So what do you got up your sleeve this time, Ben? Not the floor, Ben. Burke lost the... See? This game, this game remembers. 
make more bucks and buy the new boys. Uh, I'll listen to you at one point. All right. Yeah, I would nip weeds in the bud, bud. Sure. Just gonna start a Twitter bot. King of Chicago advice. Probably be far more successful than my actual Twitter account. What's the good word, Ben? There's meaning of some of St. Gucci's boys in the loop. Where, Ben? At the Hotel Michigan. Uh, is this going to be one of them bombing raids that I'm not... This is a mini game I have not yet. Uh, I don't want to hear about it. Oh, Ben. Oh, what a softy. We and Bull not beating people up. Okay, Bull, get in here. Am I the only modalizer in this massacre at the Hotel Michigan? Here we go. You sure this is the room bowl? Oh, wow, I got a Tommy gun. That's what the bellhop said when I punched him. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, I guess this is what being a gangster is ultimately all about. Blow the door handle off with your chopper. Oh, boy. Not exactly life advice, I'll too specific. Done. I don't know what I just did. The city bakes. Santucci looks towards the west side. Oh boy. I feel like I'm in a protracted situation here. Okay. Yeah, it's 5.30. So, I'm going to save. We'll continue this next Monday. This will be our, mo this will be our continuous adventure. Uh, hopefully it saved, it probably saved right as this was happening. Uh, Okay, but we have that, and uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a day there. It is uh, 10.30 in the UK, so you should all go to sleep. Um, but uh, thanks, uh, and uh, yes, I will be back next Monday with more Amiga Magic. Um, maybe I'll even be down at the Game Center, uh, and I'll get Bennett to show me Sensible World of Soccer. Um and, uh, yeah, I need, I need to cram more Amiga games into my brain. As many as possible in the next uh, 11 days or whenever we're recording. So, uh, you can catch me uh, also. Most days I'm going to be doing this uh, over the summer, because the more games I play, the better. And recording this stuff is really useful for me, because I can always then go back and, you know, see what I did uh, if I need to remember what the hell a game's about. So you can find me at twitch.tv slash jessefuchs is one word. Same Twitter, uh, jessefuchs. Uh, and yes, to all you lovely Canon Rinse people, thank you, and I'll talk to you soon.